I know I got some explaining to do but um, <laughs> I just want to welcome you guys back to the channel I know I've been MIA but um, in this video I will just give you guys an update and explain to you guys why I've been MIA for the past two to three weeks or ever since the Kalani Motor Show sit back drop a like on this video and enjoy it guys enjoy it Well, let's get started off with, um, well, there's a lot of explaining to do, but I'm going to start off with this. I'll be giving you guys an update of all the cars standing on the yard, and as well as the cars that's not on the yard as well. But, let me start off with news that I think none of you guys probably know, but Shannon sold the Civic. She sold the Civic about like a week before I bought uh, the B20 VTEC pack, and it was a very very sad process but the car is in well good hands the owner is very very happy and she got a very very good price for the car and that's the reason why initially we sold the car she didn't want to sell the car i think i kind of motivated her to sell the car because there are definitely better opportunities out there and because of the theft nowadays of honors and stuff like that i didn't really feel comfortable with driving the car but although i think she might end up buying a civic or honda again in the future so if you guys do have any honda civics for sale don't forget to message me or message Shannon on Instagram because I think she might be looking for you on there again. But I'll just throw the clip in real quick of the owner driving off with the car. I'm just going to apologize up front because this video is going to be very very much over the place and this video is literally just going to be of me just talking give you guys an update because the reason why I've been MIA is because I recently started a new job and the job I started is the job I initially studied for which I'm super super thankful for and at this current time I'm still on a probation period but I don't really want to mess up at this job because I kind of need it to be honest and I'll be I'm going to be for real with all of you guys that YouTube doesn't really pay at this current time for me as a local South African YouTuber doesn't really pay that well as a full time thing and I know I really haven't been doing my best as to well make YouTube a full time thing because I still uh, did my hustling in between but with this job I currently have it's well it's Lickerman and it's something I studied for and I feel really, really grateful for the opportunity so I'm trying to make the best out of it but I'm also trying to find a balance because I'm still within that first month period I'm still trying to find a balance with working and doing some content after work and but not getting too tired to work the next day so yeah I just hope you guys understand it and I thought I'll throw that out there that is the main reason why I haven't really been well filming or posting anything but I'm, uh, I'm 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 finding my feet again don't worry i'm finding my feet again let me start off with everything going on here and i'm going to start off with the car standing there in the corner you can probably see there's a blue honda standing in the corner that honda right there is not um well any of our cars that i'm sure many of you guys know smiley if you're OGs to the channel you guys know smiley that smiley is stepfather squinpa ebt yeah squinpa is guy the reason he bought that car Top gasket, I need to pull out the whole motor, fit the motor. Comment down below if you guys like to see that process. You will take, the job will be stretched out a bit more if I had to film, but it's not a problem, but if you guys like to see content in that car, definitely let me know. A car that's currently your two cars that's not here is, uh, or three cars actually, that we own, is the Bucky, the Caddy Bucky, we still have that. Uh, the Bucky has been for sale, but I took the post off because the Bucky is actually very, very fuel efficient. My dad is using that Bucky daily. The cord is not here because the cord is stored at my dad's house. And the reason for that is because Tegan's car is here 
as well as um, well a customer's car. By the way, the Type R that was here was not my car, it was a customer's car as well and that customer came to come collect this car. So that car is out and that's the reason why this car is back in because, or this car is in, because now we have space for additional car which we can walk on. Tegan's car, on the other hand, is standing here because of all the, the, and the thefts going on in Salambosh and it's, it's very very shaky like everywhere, not even just in Salambosh. Um, he's parking his car here because each night he had to literally like do something in the car and plug the dizzy or something just to, well, he have at least the satisfaction that, yeah, it won't be stolen or something like that. So we park in the car here from now on with everything going on. I mean like Rafa is the protector in this yard. <laughs> so um, he's parking the car here and yeah, that's the reason why the car is parked here and that's the reason why the court is parked at my dad's house. And also because with all the, everything going on here, the dogs and everybody walking here, it just there's a lot of scratches, additional scratches on the cars because of all the movement and that's the reason why I parked the court at my dad's house. And another reason for that, why the court is there, is because of space and the reason why we need space is because the touring love might be coming back real soon, which you guys will see in, well, probably the upcoming video which will probably happen in the next couple of days or weeks time because the car should have been back home already but there were a few hiccups i'm not going to give any details in this video but the car should have been back already like today started the car should have been back thursday already yeah that's one thing so we hope i was supposed to get the car today but i don't think i will be so i'll probably get the car in this upcoming week which i'll do a video on the collection of the car and all that all right I'm going to start off with Tegan's car right here. This is Tegan's B16 V8. This is Tegan's B16 V8 if you guys are new to the channel. And the car has been fitted with some S2000 seats. Yeah, the car's not locked. Shit. But the car has been fitted with some S2000 seats. I'm sure you guys probably seen it in the Kalani video. But if you guys would like a nice rundown on, on all the cars, I can definitely do that because I know there are uh, quite a few new subscribers to the channel. I can definitely do a rundown on the channel. Uh, it's just, it's 2000 seats, the car has been quite alright for the next, for the, for the past two weeks, I guess. And we had a couple of issues, but we sorted a lot of issues out on this car because this car gave us, or gave us a tremendous amount of issues. Um, and I know many of you guys say probably, yes, it was a mistake swapping the code for this car. But just keep in mind that Tegan did get an initial cash difference uh, with this car, which uh, that whole cash difference probably has been spent out on the car for everything that has been wrong on the car, I guess. Uh, but besides that, um, this is Tegan's dream car right here. This is literally his dream car, and I mean, like, as long as he's happy, we're all happy. Move on into the yellow car. The yellow car has had e leaks, the car has been struggling to start. You guys know since I've done the battery location on the car and rebuilt the car for the hundredth time with the car being resprayed, the car has been giving me some issues. But, yo, that uh, came out a bit too bad. <laughs> but I have been dialing this car for the past two, three weeks since I started my new job, which is, well, a good thing the car has given an e leak on the passenger side the rear. But I know exactly what it is because I don't have a water trap on and I need to drain the tank again. So all the dirt and the moisture and yeah, condensation all builds up in the sun, it makes it dirty and causes that to happen. So yeah, that's one thing that I still need to do, install the water trap. But the car is starting perfectly fine now guys, finally. Finally the car is starting perfectly fine man. Because I'm sure a few of you guys probably told me this already but the car, I kept on buying a new battery for the car but this time I bought a bigger battery that can push out more amps. The battery I always had in the car pushed out 60 amps, this battery pushed out 80 amps and that kind of solves the issue. When the car is hot, the car starts, the car starts, anytime the car starts, amazing. So, we know that's sorted and if you guys uh, seen the car at Slam at the Lake, definitely to your slam at the lake sorry if you guys seen the car at uh, kms kalani motor show comment down below i hope you guys will impress the car it's really not <sighs> where i want it to be but we'll do a rebuild on that car sometime soon on the other hand here's the p20 vtec not really much of an update on this car i sorted out a few issues on this car as well because um i'm gonna be dead out honest with you guys that one of the problems I had with the car since I bought the car back, the fourth key synchro has been missing around with me. Sometimes it grinds, sometimes it doesn't grind like grind, but you can feel like the roughness on your hand when you shift into fourth gear. But only when you put it in a certain way. So the box probably has to come out again. I'm first going to diagnose the car a bit more further. 
Part van de kaart is perfect. Ik doe niet veel tering down the score, tering op de score, because you guys all know how that goes. And no, the scoring score is simply not so slow. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm willing to sell the car, and I did as said no because I paid so much money for this car. It's it's not as much money. Well, it's not as as much as what Jody has lost on the car, but I still paid a lot of money for the car, and I fixed up a few issues on the car, which I'm very very happy with. I'm very very happy with the car, and it's very very nice to know that there are cars I can literally get in and drive. That's the best part about everything. I can literally get into the car and I can literally drive. That's the best part. I can get in this car and drive, get in this car and drive. In even, even in the car, I can literally just get in and drive. I don't know why the birds are going on like this. It's probably because of you guys. But I just want to throw it out there. Tegan did a few mods on his car in the engine and stuff like that. So he did a few filming while I was at work, but that was like, I asked him to film. So comment down below that. While I'm at work, at least you should film everything that has been done here in the yard because he's literally almost every day working on cars and working on his car. So just comment down below, Tegan, start filming please so that you guys at least can have some more content. Because I really can't promise how much videos I can put out a month because of um, everything going on with the new job and everything like that. But I'll just throw in a couple of videos that he has made while he was, well, here working on this car. This is a P16 ported intake. But what I done was we didn't have wrinkle black, you guys see. So we only had wrinkle grey. <coughs> I had to MacGyver this thing actually because this is a red dopey. So what Shane told me like a few months ago that you can use if you don't have a certain color wrinkle, then you can spray a wrinkle over it, any color, and then just pick what color you wanted it. And so I sprayed it with grey wrinkle and I chose black, so I sprayed the black over the wrinkle. So it's still a wrinkle, but you will never say that it was a grey wrinkle first and I sprayed black over it. Alright, I think I gave you guys a bit on all the cars. The Bucky is fine, the yellow car is good, the VTIG is good. All the cars still have like one or two issues that needs to be sorted out, but there's still stuff that needs to be done eventually, once the finances are sorted, because a man is a man. Yeah, a man is a I just thought you guys <laughs> have to know that. But what I'm going to do real quick is that I'm going to take you guys to drive in the yellow car because I need to fill up the tank for work for this week, this upcoming week. And then I'm just going to go withdraw some money and stuff like that. So I'm going to take you guys along with the drive because I think you guys deserve a drive in the yellow car ever since. I mean, like you guys don't really get much drive along nowadays anymore. So yeah, let's go for a drive. In the yellow car. Comment down below if I left anything out. I'm not sure I did. But one thing I think you guys have been asking for a lot is about these um, short digit number plates. And I did mention it in one of my videos that you actually need to buy those plates. And the worst part about those plates are is that you're buying it for the car, but the moment you take the car off your name, you literally lose the plate. So what you need to do, you need to let, like phone in and put the uh, uh, you have to retain the plate for I don't know how long and all this crap but 
it's a whole crappy process but yes you need to buy the plate and um, I'll link the guys details on the screen by which I bought the plate or who helped me buy the plate you can you buy the plate by the government or something like that but I threw it, I threw it out there because a lot of you guys have been asking me about the number plates or the short digit plates that are um, on my cars so yeah and another thing you guys asked me is a walk around on the blue car so if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys just really don't know the car at all I mean like we bought this car and this car on the channel so um, if you guys would like a nice walk around on both cars you guys can just comment down below and I can definitely um, well do that even comment down below some video ideas because we don't really have much bolts going on at the moment but December is going to be insane because I want to buy Shin in a project car and we can build a little project on the channel comment down below comment down below what do you think of that but let's get the yellow car started though it's just so awkward because I haven't really been filming for a while now so yeah let me just put you guys down here at the back end for a cold start of the yellow car this car, no? Guys, I think I was gonna sell this car as well. By the way, I didn't fix the fender yet. And yeah, there's another extra thing that the Ashwin did make. But we still need to sort out that on the car as well. But because I'm daily in the car, it's very hard to do so. Check how crooked it is. I need to take this car for wheel alignment. I actually need to do wheel alignment myself, but probably do that this week because this week I really need to start filming. But this car is fun. It's a little car. This is actually going to be a very very good test for all of you guys because um, the car is hot now I'm throwing petrol so once I'm done throwing in petrol then I can start up the car so then you will determine if the car is fixed or not and on video I guess I'm waiting for petrol to end on look Did you ask me to say make a video? She's going to cry for you! She's going to cry for you! 
Ayan naman ano. Ito sa sila ko petrol yun. This cost I'm not light on fuel. I'm not sure if this thing is faulty or what but this thing in show is just above off and the tank is full apparently. So I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't even think I got the startup on but I'll show you guys the startup once I get there by the um, I need to withdraw money quickly so I'm going to spa and I'll show you guys. But that really can't be true right there. I think this float is probably something is wrong in this fuel tank or something. Don't think I got you guys a startup on the car. Um, but I don't know what's going on because the petrol needle is laying there. It usually goes all the way full. But now the tank is full. But it's showing that it's... Well, I think the tank is full because it, uh, the, the car couldn't take any more petrol. But the tank is laying there so now I don't know. But yeah. change the exhaust or what because this car is a bit too loud but it's so liquid to drive me but the first start up on this car is so freaking loud yeah guys so the car is clearly hot you can see there and if you guys through all these guys would remember the car start but perfection right there yeah i initially thought there's no more problems on the score like or minimal problems but now yeah that's one of the issues right there and i hate a non-accurate um fuel gauge there's one problem I have right now. So, yeah, let's go. Safety belt, safety first. And 
Oh, hij is op de kop, because this thing has, or this remote has like a, a pulse. So I just like front and then the rear from here. There we go. So I just eat up a bit more, touch it down, get a nice eye, then I'm sorted. Auntie was actually looking at me, I don't know why. She probably thinks I'm crazy talking to myself. I need to go to fast links as well. Driving this car with one hand is a bit cheap. More intense than driving it with both hands. No power steering. That's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not really what you <laughs> expected or you guys wanted to be cheap of a, a long video or whatever the case may be. But I hope you guys enjoyed the update video. Um, do comment down below um, for the review or the walk around on the yellow car as well as well my Beatune Vita right here or any other cars in fact. Just comment down below, maybe give some suggestions out there because I was thinking of um, visiting a few shows in the process which I was initially supposed to go to the funky Buddha Park of but because we have something planned out for the day already I could not we could not attend that specific park of but like I said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'll see you guys in the next one and this is and this is for the true OGs stop racing and go stones <laughs>